When you're trying to find the efficiency of something, the efficiency can change depending on the conditions of what you're trying to do. For example, there are three different light bulbs here. The top one, this is called an incandescent bulb. This is a compact fluorescent bulb. And this is a LED light bulb. If you look at the efficiencies of these for producing light, the most efficient is this one. This one's close behind. And that one is actually terrible at producing light. So if what you want to do with these light bulbs is to produce light, the LED is about 95% efficient. You put in one watt of electrical energy and you will get out 0.95 watts of light energy. This one's a little bit worse, 90%. This one's really bad. It actually produces a lot more heat than it produces light. So this is basically a space heater that also happens to produce a little bit of light. So if I want to light my house, this is my best option. This is an easy bake oven. Now an easy bake oven, I think they still exist. It was, they were popular when I was a kid. But anyway, the way this works is you make a tiny little cake. You put the batter together in your tiny little pan, put it in here, and then inside the Easy Bake Oven is a light bulb. Okay? Back in the olden days, these were the only light bulbs that existed. So you put your light bulb in there, and it produces some light and a lot of heat. So if what you really want to do with the light bulb isn't to make it light inside my Easy Bake Oven, it's to bake my cake. What I want is the heat. So if I'm looking at how much heat does it produce, this light bulb is no longer 5% efficient. Now it's 95% efficient. If I put this in, it would be terrible at baking the cake. It would probably never bake. This one would certainly never bake a cake. And that's because if I'm trying to produce heat, this one is only 5% efficient. This one is only 10% efficient. So the efficiency really depends on what it is that you're looking for. That's when you try and arrange your mathematical models to figure out efficiency of something. Remember to think of what is it that I'm trying to produce with this particular machine. Am I trying to make something cold? Am I trying to make something hot? Am I trying to make something move? What am I trying to do with it? That will tell you what goes here and then what you want. And then what you put in uh, goes on the bottom.